But know this, you walk out that door, you're dead to me. I'm like an assassin. I never look back. First of all, I got the show because, uh, <laughs> you know, you sleep with the right people, you get somewhere in this business. And uh, my brother and I slept in the same room, bunk beds, you know, I was on the top. And uh, we always talked about it. We laid awake at night saying, hey, one of us gets a sitcom, bring the other one along, and say la vie. When I first got the gig, it was nice, because uh, I had helped write a couple episodes in the beginning, and then we introduced my character. And the producers actually came to us before we had a bank and asked me if I wanted to be a regular, which was kind of neat. But I thought, you know, three, four years, not nine. Hey, uh, huh. I like the way you stood up to him there. Oh, thanks, thanks. You know, kind of reminded me of the way you stood up to our landlord about that roach problem. Oh, uh, well, the lease clearly states when there's more than a thousand, it's his responsibility. <laughs> you see, I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> the character of Danny, uh, he's got a little bit of me in him, you know? Kind of clueless, good-hearted, means well, but kind of screws things up and isn't totally focused. What do you say we duck out of here a little early and go back to Casa de Danny for a little post-reunion union? No, thanks. Now, come on. I remember how you used to stare at me all through biology class. Actually, I was staring at your lab partner, Jake. He's, he's my husband now. <laughs> Boy, talk about going a long way to make me jealous. So we're going to do this or what? The relationship with, with Spence and Danny has been kind of funny because it started out as just a couple guys, and then it kind of got close to being very comfortable, let's just say. Would someone tell Lord Dipwad that buying a house is a sound financial investment? You, you pay rent, you're just throwing money down a rat hole. Yeah, well, well so is uh, spending $1,000 on massage school. Oh, well, I didn't hear your feet complaining last night. <laughs> kind of like a married couple, you know, without the sexual tension. Thank God. Patton, if you're watching this, no offense. But I'm clearly the chick in this.